My name is Kayla Payne, and this is my final project. When listening to someone play guitar, there are many physics concepts that we can analyze. There are many things they have to take into consideration when playing if they want the instrument to sound good. Firstly, they have to control how much tension they are putting on the frets and strings. Sometimes, when they place their finger on the wrong string and cover too much, there becomes a dampening effect on the sound produced. As you can see, this creates a flat sound that isn't actually a note. Players can also control the amplitude, which directly controls how loud the sound is. If I were to strum harder, the sound is louder. But if I were to strum softer, with less amplitude, it wouldn't be as loud. Since the frequency of a sound wave determines its pitch, pushing down on only some of the strings and playing notes allows some of the strings to vibrate more than others. The thickest string at the top creates the deepest pitch because it's thicker than the rest of the strings and vibrates slower with a longer wavelength. If we look at the bottom string, the thinnest one, it has the highest pitch because it vibrates quicker with a smaller wavelength. The tension that is put on the strings by the tuner at the top can cause a string to play a higher or lower pitch depending on how much tension there is. The vibration is limited when the guitar string is tightened. We know the sound waves coming from a guitar are longitudinal and mechanical because they are sound waves and they need a medium to be heard. The last concept we can look at is the Doppler effect. When someone is playing a guitar in the street, you can hear them from far away, but sometimes you can't recognize the song. This is because there is a change in pitch to the observer based on where you are, but the pitch does not change to the person playing the guitar. That was my final project, and I hope you all have a good summer.